know what? Y'all need me. Y'all, listen, my detractors, y'all can attack me all y'all want, but y'all need a real voice out here, man. Y'all not tired of everybody saying the exact same thing, man, and they all wrong. Everybody just repeating the oversimplifications of the complicated, or they turn around trying to make the complicated, uh, I mean, try, try to make the simple complicated and convoluted. Y'all not tired of this stuff, man. This is about the way we live as human beings. When everything is built around money, you have a problem. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. All right, my brothers and sisters, I need to break this down in several parts. This week here, I'm going to kind of talk about the men a little bit more. There's been some developments coming out recently about uh, studies show that men are working less and they're all perplexed. And of course, they're trying to straw man the men and shame the men. Oh, men are lazy. They, they, they've lost their masculinity and all this crazy stuff. Hey, it, it, it got nothing to do with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I find crazy about this society we live in, this world we live in? We tend to want to give the most complex of explanations for the most simple of problems. And then we take the complex problems and we want to oversimplify them. We do everything upside down. We do everything backwards. And this is why we are in such a disarray. But let me explain why men are working less. Let me explain why men are not on their job, why men have abandoned their posts. It's, it's a lot of moving parts in this and we are not addressing this properly. So where to begin? Shall we talk about the job situation first? Okay, men are working less in society. That is true, but it's not because they, uh, they've lost their masculinity, they don't want to be men no more, it got nothing to do with that. For too long, the training and conditioning of our society at large has been to make people, make men believe and make women believe that the value of a man, that, that the worthiness of a man is based on his job. You heard Chris Rock with his coon ass sit up in a comedy show talking about a man meet a woman, tell, the, tell his friends he met a new woman, they say, how does she look? A woman meet a man, she tell her friends, I met a new man. The first question they ask is, what does he do? Now, that's not true. Let's be clear. That's not true. It, it, it's an it's oversimplification. It's based on a very small demographic that think that way. Most people do not think of what does a person do as the first thing that comes to their mind. But because of coons like Chris Rock, because of you high value men, because of you feminists, because of y'all, we are under the belief that a man is measured by his job. And since getting good jobs is hard, getting a job isn't easy, getting a job that pays you a, a, a livable wage is not easy. They want to work, they can. Or if they get a job, they will have a job and still be poor. They are giving all the better paying jobs to women. Most better paying jobs are government created and most of those government created jobs Women hold, especially if it don't require a man, women hold them. You take the whole entire family court system, you strip that system away, you do get rid of those jobs, right? You get rid of that system, you're gonna have 20%, 30% of women in any um, geographical location lose their jobs overnight. That many. Y'all don't realize how many people make money off of every child that goes through that system. You need to look that up. That system is vast. You think about just a few people you see. They are people behind the scenes that get paid well for every child that goes through that system. And 90% of those jobs go to women. The men are basically chasing their tails right now. And they don't know what to do. Y'all don't remember a few years ago, they, had, they put a position out, they put an ad out, right? So they had two positions open. And the men, 
were lined up in their suits with briefcases and stuff, lined up around a New York corner. And that's a long block, in case you don't understand. They were lined up down the street and around the corner for two, for two positions. You can't say they don't want to work. These men invested in college also so they can get a blue collar uh, um, and a white collar job. So they can sit behind the desk in an office somewhere. But all of those jobs are going to women. And now even most of the blue collar jobs that don't require a whole lot of man strength are starting to go to women. You're starting to see more female truck drivers. You're starting to see more female UPS drivers. More female FedEx drivers. There are not enough jobs. And since the man has been led to believe that his worth as a man is tied to that job, what is he worth now? What is he worth? Y'all did that. Y'all created this system and then pulled the rug from under these men. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not sympathizing with the men because they should have never put their worth and identity in a job to begin with. That's not what a real man would do. I am, I am a star do a lot no matter what I have in my pocket. I've said that many times. I am who I am, I am what I am regardless of my financial situation. You're not about to disrespect me if I'm on hard times. I am still a man. You're going to still give me respect. I'm going to give you respect. We're going to keep it high supposed to be kept. We're going to keep it 100. But too many of these men tied their fate to a job. And when they couldn't deliver on that, they felt useless. Or shall I say, feel useless. And now a lot of them had just given up. They've just given up. But they are victims. Be, be clear about this. They are victims of this system of economics and capitalism. It's not, it has nothing to do with them. They are victims. You got to understand that. I've listened to all these other YouTube channels talk about this situation. None of you do. Y'all know what? Y'all need me. Y'all, listen, my detractors, y'all can attack me all y'all want, but y'all need a real voice out here, man. Y'all not tired of everybody saying the exact same thing, man. And they all wrong. Everybody just repeating the oversimplifications of the complicated, or they turn around trying to make the complicated, uh, I mean, trying try to make the simple complicated and convoluted. Y'all not tired of this stuff, man. This is about the way we live as human beings. When everything is valued around money, you have a problem. I was watching the other night, man, that, uh, a classic movie, The Way of the Gun. I don't know if a lot of y'all have ever seen it. Look it up, The Way of the Gun. Very entertaining movie, especially if you're a boy. Female, you might not like it, but it's a boy flick, you know? Look up The Way of the Gun. And it was crazy because all of that madness going on in that movie is about money. All them people getting shot. <laughs> all this stuff going on. The pregnant woman kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? Being held at gunpoint trying to, trying to undergo a C-section. All of this stuff is about money. That is a problem. That I'm sorry if you can't see it. But that is a problem. It's all about money. And because it's all about money, if a, these men feel like if they can't make any, they're not men anymore. But you don't control the system of capitalism, my brother. And I'm talking to all men, not just my black brothers, but all men. You don't control the system of capitalism. You've been lied to. You've been led to believe that if you do this and do that, then this, you're going to get this in the end. That is a lie. There is no, this is not a math problem. You don't just put no factors up that draw a line and add or subtract. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. This is a vast system of a lot of moving parts that you have no control over. So if you fall short within this, you could sit back there in self-loathing and blame yourself. But I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm, and I mean that literally, man, I'm telling y'all, y'all are victims. This has nothing to do with you. This has nothing to do with laziness. This has nothing to do with effort. This has nothing to do with testosterone or masculinity, none of that stuff. This is the world we live in.
That's all it is. This is the world we live in. And as long as we are basing everything on money, you're going to have this problem. Now, that's all I'm going to say for that part. In part two, I'm going to explain why, what, what men should have been focused on. Because a man is supposed to adjust to whatever environment that he is in. A man is supposed to figure out the world that he is in. He is not supposed to just blindly follow the Pied Piper. Going down the street telling you, hey, hey, if you do this and do that, this is how your life is going to be. You're going to get a good job. You're going to have a nice pretty wife. You're going to have kids and have a nice house. They lie to you, man. They lie to you. And they lie to the women. The women who espouse this stuff, they lie to you. Y'all part of the problem. Y'all put this pressure on those men. Y'all can't put that pressure on me. It ain't going to work with me. Y'all put this pressure on those men. Y'all got these men like that. But, the, but to me, it's their fault too. Because they should have never bought into that lie. See, everybody's looking for the easiest path to success. And that's the problem. They want to they want tell you that brothers like me, we took the easy route. Yeah, I got a whole body full of bullet holes, knife wounds, and penitentiary tattoos to prove how easy that life was. I got nothing but stories involving dead dudes. I can't tell two stories consecutively, consecutively without mentioning half the dudes in the story dead. That's how easy that world was that I was in. No, the easy route was go to college, keep your nose clean, get a job, and everything gonna fall in line. What's easier than that? See, y'all college educated people, y'all wanna make it sound, y'all y'all be around here beating y'all chest cause y'all went to college like y'all did something special. All you did was took the easy route. And I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. But now you're realizing that you've been lied to going down that path and you wanna blame anybody and everybody but the system that lied to you. I have a problem with that. It's my fault now. It's brothers like me. It's our fault now. Oh, it's y'all no good pookies now. You know, it, it, it's, it's Ray Ray's fault now. It's Shanae's fault now. It's Shanequa's fault now. It's everybody's fault but you for letting this devil lie to you. But you can't kind an honest man. The truth of the matter is you wanted the easiest way to that thing. You wanted to get there with the least amount of work and effort and energy. You took the easiest path that they gave, that they laid out before you, and now they got all y'all invested in that path, and you got nowhere to go. And now you're imploding on each other, you're turning on each other, you're mad at each other. You believe that lie. Brothers like me been telling you it was a lie. You didn't want to hear it from me. But now you know it's a lie. That's all I'm going to say on this one here. I'm going to follow this up with a part two because I really want to get into the meat of, uh, of what's going on. So let's move on to part two. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel. I might post a part two a day later. I don't know if I'm going to do them the same day. I don't really want to make the videos clash, but I might post a part two the, uh, the next day. But like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time I see you, I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Salam. So